Some pirates achieved immortality by great deeds of cruelty or daring do. Some achieved immortality by amassing great wealth, but the captain had long ago decided that he would, on the whole, prefer to achieve immortality by not dying. The Colour of Magic by Terry Pratchett. I've been reliably informed that second Panzer Grenadier is actually OP and I'm just a bad player. So here we are building a second Panzer Grenadier division because second Panzer Grenadier is OP and I'm just a bad player. And we're going to be bringing three cards of supply because you need that in order to keep everything resupplied. Keep in mind that refilling smoke on any vehicle now costs 200 supply. So if you pop smoke on all your fucks and then you uh, try and resupply that, it's going to drain these basically immediately. So you need three cards of supply. Interestingly enough, the uh, second Panzer Grenadier still gets access to the 1A3, which is better than the 1A2 because it's got more armor. So we're going to be bringing the 1A3 Milan. I have in the past attempted to use the 1A2 Milan, or just the 1A3, or just the 1A2, and every time I sort of wish that I'd brought <laughs> the Milan one. So FS Power Milan 2, these guys are still good because they, for 5 points more, they get the forward deployment, which you might not need, but crucially they're getting a free rank of veterancy because you see if you upvet these it's 4, whereas these guys start on 6. So that's great, you could get 2 cards from them if you want, I don't recommend it. FS Jaeger, they're not special forces, um, which is a pain. So I am going to try bringing two cards max vetted and see how that goes for us. Pioneer's Flam aren't very good, but um, you don't really have a choice. So this is a napalm launcher. It's the worst napalm launcher in the game, but at least West Germany gets a napalm launcher, unlike Britain, for example. Just completely picking a random example there. So I'm going to bring this in the uh, in the Unimog. And Jaeger, 50 points. I don't really rate them. Oh, I forgot to bring the Panzer Grenadier Carl Gustav, which you do have to bring in the one without the Marda. So we've got a lot of Marda 103 Milans. I don't know if maybe we could upvet them. Uh, I don't know. Then we've only got like 20. Pioneer Armburst, I prefer to Jaeger because they get one less man, but they get a better rocket launcher. Why is it better? It's because of how fast it fires. In the opinion of this marine, you can burst something down and then run away. Whereas these guys, they'll fire their shot. The enemy thing will just turn around and kill them <laughs> before they fire their next shot. They'll get stunned up. So I prefer the Pioneer Armburst. Bring those in the Unimog as well. Some people really like the, uh, the Fux and the Fux Milan, but I don't. Lars 2 is garbage. Um, people keep telling me it's good. It's not. People keep telling me these are good now. Maybe they are. Let's find out. So, let's bring the Lars anyway so I can complain all game. Do like complaining. Leopard 2s. Yeah, you sort of forced to bring them at one vet and they die really fast. It's kind of a problem. Might actually be worth bringing them at no vet. Might actually be worth doing that. Jaguar 2 you sort of need for the Toe 2. The alternative is you could bring the Strikers, but Toe 2 is obviously a lot better, more pen. Same range, way more accuracy. Also, crucially, this has 6 front armor now, which means it can survive quite a lot of hits. And yeah, the Leopard 1s are really not good anymore. You'll note that the Leopard 1A5 has a higher accuracy than the Leopard 2A3, which is definitely one of the decisions of all time. Um, I've been told that they can still be that these can still be useful at the start. If you bring them right at the start in the first five minutes, they can be useful. So we're gonna max vet them and see if we can bring them at the start and if they're useful. And this is too expensive now because of the armor. The price has gone up, but it's just too expensive. It's sort of like an IFV substitute, except it costs way more than an IFV now. Recon obviously need the looks. Do you like my Jäger Aufklärer? These guys have high HP, so they're really useful. And these guys can be good for sending around the back and blowing up things with the Panzerfaust 3, but for strength, 50 points. Kind of rough. Whereas you can bring these guys, um, who are also for to, to be honest, might just bring these. <laughs> That's 5-3, not 5-4, fair enough. And I do like the Recon Helicopters, although they're a lot less useful than they used to be because of how fast they die. Eclairs. In fact, actually, instead of bringing the 50-point guys, I can bring the chocolate eclairs, and they're four men. 
um, for 30 points, and so that's just some nice cheap recon for the flanks and stuff. Because, yeah, if I want to infiltrate, I'll just use the FS Jaeger, although they're not very cheap. AA, you're sort of forced to bring the IHawk Flieger Force Gepard. Helicopters, you've got the choice of the Hot 1 or the Hot 2. The Hot 2 is better, but it costs 10 points more and you get 2 less availability. I prefer the Hot 2, because if I'm in a situation where I want an ATGM Helo, I really want that thing to do as much damage as possible. Air tab, so this is new, the F-16 AA with the ripple fire on the AIM-9s um, can be useful. So I'll bring two Tornadoes, two F-16s, and then that only... This thing is apparently decent against tanks now, I don't know. This is a new addition to second pans of this patch, same with F-16. The HE-2 is obviously really good. I say obviously, the reason it's really good is because it's got 450 kilo bombs times 5. Used to have better availability, but and it's still got 30% ECM. Some people rate the Tornado because it's got speed, I guess. So I could try the Tornado and then get upset when it doesn't work. That's always fun. And this thing is just garbage because it drops the bombs from a high altitude in a long, thin line. Actually, no, this is different to the, the UK one. I will try this and get back to you. <laughs> so this is second Panzer Grenadier Grouchy. And if you want to see a game where this is used, check the first link in the description and you'll find a game where this is used. And I sort of want a seed plane, um, but I don't want to get rid of... I could get rid of the Lars. Oh, save one point. Hmm, maybe not. Five CVs. Yeah, whatever. See you in the game.